All right, well, it is April 1st. It is the opener for Washington's uh, spring turkey season for youth. And I'm no longer a youth, but I was invited out by a friend and he has two youth hunters here. So I'm gonna spend the weekend trying to help these two young guns over here fill their first ever turkey tags. They're pretty new, so it's pretty refreshing to see, you know, a new and upcoming generation interested in turkey hunting as well, so. We got today, which is Friday. We got tomorrow, which is Saturday, and then we have uh, Sunday morning as well to hopefully get it done. Four turkey tags to go. Both of them, both of our shooters have two tags each, so. I don't know, they've already seen turkeys all around us, so. We're gonna see if we can smack one this evening. Now, normally when you guys watch my videos, I do hunt on public land a lot, but today it's an exception in which whenever I don't hunt public land, I always make it clear to you guys. So today we are on private property. This is Ross. This hey is guys. the man that put everything uh, together. Crazy Elk. That's Crazy Elk. That's Eric. He's yeah. the he's Eric. a professional turkey killer here. <laughs> Eric Broughton. Eric Broughton. He's got a real turkey right there as a decoy. So I he... shot this turkey last fall. So he's not pretty, but I uh, shot him last fall and uh, basically took all the meat out. And then I stuffed him and made him into a real decoy. And this is our first first time out. I call him Jake from State Farm. Um, Genius. Yeah, because he's hideous. Yeah, <laughs> he sounds. But hideous. I think he'll make some big Tom mad. That's the oh, hope, I, so. I think he's gonna get beat up. Yeah, that's what we're. Well, looking we for. won't let him get that close. All this right here is just fresh turkey scratching. So we're just hiking up this super old, well not super old, but this old four wheeler. And just like, if you guys look here, you guys look there, like that's just fresh turkey scratching. So crazy, just insane amount of scratching here. All right, it's pretty windy, but we heard that hen yakling behind us over here, so we just hiked back. We just threw the Jake decoy and a hen decoy out in the field. We got our two suitors set up, or we're in the middle of setting them up. And so we're just kind of, everybody's just kind of scattered, just trying to hide, trying to stay concealed. And we're just making sure our shooters have a good shooting lane, but so far zero gobbles, but we do know there's a hen behind us, so. We're just gonna sit here and see if a gobbler or four come hiking up to the decoys before they go to roost.
Did you get the decoy? They did not like that decoy. No, they hated it. That's a great job, man. But you waited patiently for the right shot. You see how many were in, in that group? How many? There was at least eight palms. There's there's at least one gobbler. Dude, I got the best footage I've ever gotten of a gobbler just walking right by me. <laughs> I was shaking they, so bad. I am. I'm still shaking. I, I, I am too. Oh, he walked right there. I know, they didn't even see us. Five yards. Did you see him stand Burned three down. feet from me? Yeah. I was like filming like this. I was trying not to move. Zane got his first turkey. Made a good shot. How you feeling, Dad? <laughs> I was very fine. I was still looking at the gobbler, and then all of a sudden you shot, and I saw, I'm like, oh, he shot the Jake. <laughs> How you I feeling, Dad? That's it. Great. Feeling great. <laughs> One happy dad. Pretty fun. You need a knife? No, yeah. I got I You got, got one? I got one. To be April Fool's Day. April Fool's Day. <laughs> fooled Who that turkey. Fool? Yeah. I fool. <laughs> who, fool, who fooled it? <laughs> fooled the whole flock. I think the turkey did. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and they, and they tried to kill him for it. But see how there's just a little bit of white? Yeah. That's the immaturity part. That'll all fill out. And it'll look more like that. So that's how you know it's a young bird. Let's look at his beard. Look at that. Nice. But could you see that sticking out when you shot him? Yeah. It was like sticking out like this. <laughs> Camp is just right down here, so we're just gonna loop, go down, and then uh, we're just gonna go back and make a game plan for tomorrow. We got one, one of them tagged out with one, so the flock, they didn't spook bad. Shot our bird right here. And then the rest of the flock, they kind of just, you know, fed their way up and over. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but those trees, I think they're gonna go and roost over there because the sun is setting. So we'll leave those birds be and we'll bring another hunter up here tomorrow morning and see if we can pull that same flock back in. And hopefully this time we can put the big tom down. There's nothing quite like taking a youth hunter out. My dad is really hard on picking up good pads. <laughs> How heavy is that bird? I gotta stay on the farm. We'll play him. All right. Well, we are back down at camp. We shot the turkey just right up the hill that way. This right here is the trophy bar. So, took Zane's bird and. There actually was already some of these. I guess these are meant for deer, but we just made it work for turkey. That's his bird. Hoping to fill those ones up tomorrow morning. Got the tag inside the crazy elk tag wallet. We're just chilling now. Ross is cooking burgers. What kind of burgers, Ross? Grass-fed Angus. Grass-fed Angus. Let's see what. Oh yeah, look at that. This is Ross's setup right here. He's gonna sleep up there tonight. This is what he calls, what'd you say, utility mode? Yeah, this is in utility mode right now, just with the short sides and these sides, it's just a couple bolts and it pops off and then I have a box yep. um, that'll slide right in and then where you're standing will be a outdoor kitchen. Like a door. And the wife and I will sleep in the front. Yeah, or sleep up here for that oh, matter. That's the kids. Oh, that's the kids. That's awesome. So, yep, that's uh, that's Ross's setup. And then there's actually some of these cabins over here. 
which I didn't even know about, but those are some of the cabins that we're gonna be occupying too. So that's just turkey camp. All the rigs just parked around. There's the crew just chatting. Keep something in one place correctly. Yeah. Tomorrow's dinner is gonna be special. Is it? Yeah. Saving the best for last? That's right. Uh, I like that. We're gonna get up around 4, 4.30, 4.45 tomorrow, so I'm gonna go to bed a little bit earlier than usual. So, I'm just crashing in the back of the truck tonight. I didn't really plan on having a fancy camp out, so I just figured I'd go easy and just, just gonna crash here tonight, and then I will see you guys dark and early in about six hours or so.